There's a few settings that we're going to want to make sure that we set here. First, let's turn off color and we'll turn deformation on. Once you've turned on deformation, make sure you have double-sided clicked. You have fade turned off and you have normalize turned on. The reason we turn on normalize is so that the details that we create here will project around the surface of our pillar. Once we're done setting everything the way we want, we'll click drop now. This will drop our model down into a 2.5D state. Now in our tool menu, let's go ahead and select the simple brush. In the stroke palette, we'll select the line stroke, and then we'll choose a nice soft round alpha. We're going to make a few adjustments to our line stroke, so we'll go up to the main menu, click on the stroke palette, and then we'll dock that over on the right hand side. If you have the line stroke selected, you'll notice that you have an option here called spacing. Let's turn that all the way up to 2. What this is going to do is make sure that we have a nice solid line instead of a bunch of little dots. So let's do a test stroke. I'll turn RGB off so that we're not working with any color information. And by holding the shift key, I'll draw a nice straight line across the surface. Once again, I'm going to press the letter G. This is going to bring up my projection master settings. What's great about this is if I don't like any of the settings I set earlier, I can change them now. But in this case, we're happy with all of our settings, so we'll simply click Pick Up Now. Once I do that, it'll take my model out of a 2.5D state and put it back into a full 3D state. So we'll hit Control z to undo that. I'll hit the letter G to jump back into Projection Master. You'll notice our settings remain the same. And we'll draw another line across the surface. Now one of the many very powerful features of using Projection Master is after you draw a stroke, you can actually click on your Move, Rotate, or Scale option, and then you can adjust that stroke. So we can move it across the surface, we can scale its size, we can even change our intensity sliders, our Z Add and Z Sub options, so that we can have full control over our stroke after we've actually drawn it onto the surface. So we'll draw a few more lines here, again switching between our Z Add and Z Sub, that way we can push into the surface or pull out, and then adjusting our intensity as we go along. Once we're done with the top of the pillar, we'll do the same to the bottom. Again, switching between Z Add and Z Sub, that way we can draw lines that protrude out and lines that actually carve into the surface. So definitely take advantage of being able to move, rotate, and scale your strokes across the surface. So we'll click W for Move, and we'll just reposition this stroke that we just drew. Another really powerful feature is the ability to duplicate strokes. So if we click Shift S, you'll notice that we've just duplicated that stroke along the surface. We'll now press G to jump back into the Projection Master options, and then click Pick Up Now. So now we're back into a full 3D model.